currently deep conditioning my hair, so don't mind the, <laughs> the lime green towel on my face. Ooh, I don't want this in my shot. There we go. I just moved back to my home state of Atlanta, Georgia after living in New York for about three and a half years. And I'm currently living with my parents. So recently I've just been trying to use this time to develop a closer relationship with Christ. So lately when I feel a certain emotion, I try to put a word with how I feel. About two weeks ago, I was feeling just inadequate. Balancing being in a new city, which is really an old city, but it feels new because I haven't been here in so long. Trying to organize my time, just kind of being pulled left and right, which it's a part of life, it happens. But just feeling inadequate with how am I gonna do everything? How am I going to actually accomplish the dreams that God has placed on my heart? They seem so big, they seem so far away. How is it gonna happen? And so I opened the Bible app, Uversion. They have a search function, which I hadn't been using in the past, but it's actually really helpful. And I searched inadequacy or inadequate, something around those lines. And a really great devotional came up. I think it's a seven day devotional. I will include it somewhere for you to find it in this video. And there was a reference to being in a cocoon, a butterfly, looks like a worm or a caterpillar <laughs> caterpillar before butterfly becomes a butterfly it's a caterpillar and it doesn't look like a beautiful butterfly fly it looks like an insect but all the caterpillar does is just rest in its cocoon and then it emerges as a beautiful butterfly i believe it was just relating that to, to our lives of how we should just rest in god's work for us he's already done all of the work the work of salvation the work of restoration, the work of our futures and our lives, our destinies. He has a great plan for our lives. He has a hope and a future for us. And we just, all we need to do is rest in knowing that God loves us and that he's there for us and he's fighting for us. And the rest, I mean, of course, there are things in the natural to do to work towards what he has placed on your heart or to work towards the goals that are ahead of you. But at the end of the day, it's God who does the work to make what you do become fruitful. So I was just really encouraged by that. I encourage you all to just lay your feelings at the feet of our caring father, our loving father, and just know that he has our back no matter how we're feeling. And maybe try using the Bible app in a new way because it's been really helpful for me to just use the search function. There's also little emojis at the top of the app where you can choose like if you're feeling sad or if you're feeling anxious, literally take your emotions and bring it to the word of God and then have your emotions line up with the word of God. In Colossians 3 and 1, it says set your heart and I believe it's verse 2. It says to set your mind on things that are above and not on things of this earth. It's just a practice. It's a daily practice. Allowing God to renew your mind, meaning kind of uprooting negativity or the things that are naturally occurring in your mind that aren't beneficial to you and your life and your future. And replacing those thoughts with the thoughts and the word and the guidance of our Father and our Savior by reading and meditating on the Word of God and accepting that Word as truth and not accepting what you see, which may be a caterpillar. When in your head, you can envision a butterfly, but what you see in the natural, it looks like a caterpillar. You, you feel like an insect. You feel like you just, you might feel incapable. So I just encourage you to try to rest in, in Christ and bring your cares to him, bring your emotions to him, whether they be negative or positive, and see if they align with what you're reading in the word of God. If they don't, try to reprogram your mind by casting down thoughts that you don't see in the Bible, replacing them and deciding to set your mind. So you can't just let your mind be on autoplay. You have to actually decide on a setting. Well, it's the same as if you're listening to Spotify or Pandora, you can just let the music play or you can set 
the station to a particular artist or a particular genre to listen to. And it's the same with our minds. Instead of letting our minds roam wherever it would like to go, we can set our minds to be in alignment with what God says about us and who God says that we are. So I just encourage you to do that and work on that as I'm working on that. Just give it, just give it to him because he doesn't want us to carry a weight that was meant only for him.